right. So now I'm ready to put this together so there's been a bunch of complications. Uh, basically, the holes don't quite line up. I have to file this thing uh, back this direction back a little bit. Uh, hopefully, I filed enough. Um, that and also had to go get some washes, right? So you saw the other video, the last video. Uh, this hole right here, the depth in here was too deep. So, uh, so I got two packs of uh, of two of pairs. So they come in two uh, stainless steel washers, uh, metric washers, 10, 10 millimeters stainless steel. But this bolt's pretty long. So actually, I'm using all four. So uh, got the two spacers. I'm gonna sandwich the washers in between the spacers, right? Like so, right? Then the other washer uh, that it has is on the other side of this, of the bracket, other side, the outside of the bracket. Uh, but this, the, remember the bolt's a little bit on the long side, so I have to use the extra washer I had, and I think I have enough. Um, I also got a tap and tap into this because it was, um, you know, all that Loctite in there. It was like it was like I just couldn't get it out, and and this hole is actually not a through hole, you know, so it's a blind hole. So it just everything was just caked in there. So I, so I basically just tapped it clean, uh, clean it all out. Then, uh, then I blew compressed air through here and get got it all out. Um, yeah. So, so did that. So hopefully it should all fit now. I'm hoping this thing is long enough that when I'm you know, filing it down. But let's see, let's see how it, uh, how it comes together. So, those, uh, the two. A Gibby spacers and my three washers. Oops. The Gibby spacers, and my three washers. Okay. Gibby should have done three wash, uh, three spacers instead of, instead of uh, two. But I don't know. I'm not sure why why they only had two. Because um, you know the the FSR, uh, the the uh, FZ and FJ. You know they all use the same. You know, all, all of them have the same frame, same, as far as I know, the same, uh, um, even the same uh, rear set, unless the rear, unless this rear set is different. But, the, but you know, the main frame is the same, so I'm not sure why, you know, what, what they were thinking. I remember everything, everything, supposed to go in pretty easily by uh, you know just by, by hand if it doesn't you, know, if you need a wrench uh, before it gets you the tightness you know before it, it stops by hand and gets you know, gets you that spark where you need a wrench uh, if you if there's still a lot of space here and, and there's still a lot of slack and you need a wrench for that that means something is wrong uh, it's neither misthreaded or there's just too much tension on the thread like for example put the hole in there and that's like too much tension on one side of this and it does this and it basically push this this uh, pressure on, on the um, the side load on there, that will actually cause the thread to potentially strip as well, get damaged as well. So, so that's when you need the wrench, uh, it, or when you when you need a wrench to actually turn it, even though it's not all, actually not all the way in uh, at the head yet. Don't use that wrench to turn it; otherwise, you would damage the threads. Uh, so it should all be able to turn in by hand. Um, all right, the top side. Goes in nice and easy. That's that's a good sign. <laughs> Everything nice and easy going in. That's a good sign. Yeah, I think when they when they made this bracket, that's uh, the the alignment of it. it's not quite right. It's you know it's all these holes are not quite lined up. Uh, you know, there's a little bit of a little bit of a gap or whatever. A little bit of irregularity, basically, that's what I'm saying. Where it's not quite, you know, where nothing's actually uh, not quite all in properly. Yeah, now it's in. That's a little 
weird there. And that's because this bracket, again, is all the holes are not perfectly lined up. So, so that's why it's acting up right now. Just, just before it, uh, just before it actually hits the stop, where you actually need, need to tighten it down. Then I'm gonna go back to this one and tighten this one up. Then, then, then these two. So that's it. Um, yeah, so I guess I filed it enough. I filed, I think I filed about about two millimeters, maybe. Like, you know, that's two millimeters is what? Uh, a little bit over sixteenth of a thousand. Eighty thousand, actually. Uh, one millimeter is about forty thousandths. So about two millimeters off of this, uh, of that hole, uh, making it longer instead of brown, making it more elongated back, you know, back this direction. Okay, so let's look at it. Um, look at it from the angle. So look at look at how much it sticks out. It sticks out quite a bit. Uh, not sure why Gibby designed it like that. Maybe it's to clear the because the spike obviously there's no fairings, but this 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 also fits the FJ09, which is I think the tracer in Europe, or the FZ09, which is the uh, uh, MT09 in Europe. So I, you know those those bikes have some body work, so maybe they made it that way, so that way it's more clearance for that. Is my guess, uh, or maybe they made it a little bit more clearance so that that way you, you could actually open up the uh, the uh, the sides here without having to take this off, right? Like you can open this off and remove this without having to take this off. Or the other thing is that you know you need some space here because you can't have this bar literally right against here because if you crash, for example. You know this bar has to have some space so that way it could dent in a little bit right it could it could squash in a little bit and not touch your engine if it's right up against there say let's say a quarter inch away if it dents in quarter inch is not much so it might hit the engine and all of a sudden you know then 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 you could have some damage so so what's the point of this right so so those you know all those various reasons i i think that's why they did that but again i still would have preferred it to be like i don't know this is three fingers it would be nice if it was like maybe two fingers. Um, anyways, so uh, that's how it looks. Yeah, that's a big gap. Look at that thing. I think it's almost like a stunt cage. Look at this side. And this, you know, this engine, this three, three inline three, it sticks out quite a bit already. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of a wide, wide engine. So there it is. Pretty wide. It's not the greatest looking thing. I think the the original the original um, 
frame side it looks better but obviously it doesn't have as much it doesn't have it doesn't really have engine protection but anyways i'm gonna leave this on here i don't think i'm gonna leave this on here permanently i'm just gonna leave this on here and do like for for like road trips and such because these are things when i go on road trips um you never know where you end up what road you're on sometimes you're on a dirt road or something like that and uh sometimes you get stuck in a dirt road or in sand or whatever um uh and uh and shit happens and you know having this is is a uh, is a good good idea you know like i mentioned earlier i think in my the first first video of this that i've never gone down on pavement i've only gone down on dirt and you know and uh and mainly because i'm you know i'm riding a street bike on the dirt so so this will help all right that's it uh thanks for watching all four videos.